Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 226. Now we've already gone over all the different uh, components you can add to your particles. Uh, so now I want to start going over animated textures. And I'm just going to open up Unity. Uh, to start off with, if we started up our game, uh, I'm going to start with the portal. You know, if you look at our portal here, you know, it's not bad. It's kind of cool. Uh, I didn't really spend too much time on it because I already know that there's uh, going to be a lot of the things I at least want to try with it. And adding an animated uh, texture maybe to the center would be one of them. So let's go over and take a look to see how we do that. So I'm going to start off. I'm just going to create a game object. And I'm just going to make it a plane. Now, let's zoom in on this plane. It's actually quite big. Now, to be, you know, if you really want to be efficient, you really should uh, load up your favorite 3D modeling program and just make uh, a simple plane. If you notice, there's a lot of different um, vertices here that we can actually get rid of. We only need the ones on the outside. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, this is fine. So I've already gone ahead and created a texture for this. And I've thrown it in my textures folder here. And right here, if you notice, I have a sprite sheet again. And it's another 8x4. And, well, it's actually, it's not too bad. It's uh, 1024 by 512. It's just uh, for demonstration purposes. And I've gone ahead and created a texture or material for it as well. Uh, right down here. And I left it on particles additive for now. And all I'm going to do is come over to my plane. I'm going to get rid of the collider because I don't want a collider on it. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to open up my mesh renderer and under materials, I'm just going to drag my material onto it. And there we go. Uh, if you look at it, it has my uh, little texture atlas on it or sp sprite sheet. Uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, actually head over to uh, the Unify Wiki. And uh, what I want to look for is the animated tile textures. Uh, this is already done for you. It's uh, done by, I believe it is, I'm probably going to slaughter his name, but I believe it's Yokum Ante. Uh, probably just insulted his mother in some other language, and I apologize for that. But uh, if you look at it, not that many lines of code. It is in JavaScript, but there's nothing here that we haven't already gone over. Uh, so I think it would probably be a really good exercise to convert this to C-sharp. There's not that many lines of code. Like, what are we looking at here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12 lines of code, uh, you should be able to convert that on your own. Uh, for the people that have purchased the scripts, uh, I'll probably, uh, I've already converted it for you, so if you want to actually uh, practice and convert it to yourself, just drag my copy out of the folder and uh, have at it. So anyway, you want to go in, uh, copy this whole script, and I've already done that ahead of time here. And if I open up my scripts, I just threw it in my utility folder and it's called Animated Texture UV, and it is still a C-sharp script. And if we head back into Chrome, I just kept the same name. And all I'm going to do is take this script, uh, select my plane that I made right here, and I'm just going to drag and drop it on. Now, if I open up my texture here, I notice it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess it would be easier to count over here. Stay across by four down, and I'm going to need to know that. Uh, let me turn off shadows. I'm going to need to know that because when I open up my animated texture script here, I was going to want to know how many across, and it was eight, and how many down, it was four, and now the frames per second. Now, uh, the program that I am using is the TP editor. And I am going to have a review coming up on it. This is how I'm currently making all of my uh, little particles or sprite sheets. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead. Uh, there's going to be tons of tutorials you'll be able to find on how to do it with stuff like Photoshop and GIMP. Uh, but this is what I'm using right now because there's already a bunch of them pre-made for you that you can tinker around with. And you also have the ability to make your own. But well, we'll get to that when I do the review on this product. But anyway... Uh, frames per second, by default, it's set to 30 frames a second, and I didn't change it, so I'm actually going to use 30 frames a second. And let's just start it up and see what that looks like in game. Now, it is uh, on the wrong area here. Uh, but you can see it's, you know, it's, it's animated, right? 
<laughs> uh, it's a little bit big. I'm actually going to shrink this down. Uh, we'll do 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. And lower it. Uh, let's stick it out here a little bit more. And let's start it up. Uh, it's a bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and attach it to my portal here. And we'll see how it looks. So I'm actually going to keep it the way it is. I do want to rotate it. I'm going to make sure my global is on up here so I'll, I get the global axis and I can see where I want to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate 90 on the Z. Actually, no. I'm looking at it the wrong way. I want to look at it this way with the Z pointing forward. I want to rotate it uh, negative 90 on the X. So that's 270. There we go. And it actually does look a lot bigger than I need. Uh, but we'll soon see. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it somewhere. Uh, right here. I want to rotate it a little bit this way. Just to position it in, in game. Uh, that's approximately where my portal is. And I'm going to take my portal and drag and drop it right onto it. And then I'm going to take my transform in my portal. And I'm just going to reset its position. And I should reset its rotation too, so it's at the exact same rotation that um, uh, apparently I shouldn't have. <laughs> I wanted it to be at the exact same angle that uh, my portal's on, uh, my texture. Uh, so I'm going to have to rotate that. It looks like on the Z90, uh, negative 90. So let's just start zeroing these out. So 270. Uh, nope, that didn't do it in my own global. It's going to make me adjust all of them. Now you can already see that it's a little bit big. Uh, let's go into the top view. Oh, I'm just going to zero it out. All right, so let's rotate 90 on uh, what if we did local X. There we go. And let's go take a look at that in game. I've got it up too high. I can't see anything. So I'll just take my plane, move it down a little bit. And that's not down, that's over. Let's go back into perspective. Yeah, it's over a little too far. So I'm going to move that down and over here. And it looks like I'm going to have to definitely make it smaller. So that's not too bad. Uh, you can kind of see the edges here. So I've actually got to go in and make my texture that I was using right here a little bit cleaner. If we actually open this up, I thought I had it adjusted right, but... Apparently I don't because you can see the, the edges, but it doesn't really matter because I don't want it to be sticking out of the edge of my portal. Uh, so I'm going to just slowly decrease this. So maybe 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Uh, it's a little bit better, still not quite right. I want it to be inside. Uh, that, that's about actually about right. So let me see, run around. Maybe 0.35, but we'll just keep adjusting. But anyway, as you can see, you actually have a nice little uh, textured animation going on here. And I'm actually just going to break it off again. I just can adjust the plane by moving it around. So I'll just go over here. We'll head back in. So yeah, it does go to the edges, uh, my texture that is. So I should shrink the size of my texture down a bit. Uh, but other than that, I think it looks fine. Now there is a little bit of blurring. I do need to make it a little bit crisper, but that's fine as well. Uh, but this does actually show how to create a textured or an animated texture. So I'm going to come back in, make the adjustments that I had here. Uh, three, well, we'll just stick with the three for now. 
And I'm actually going to take the collider off of this now. I'm going to change the name of this to Particle Ring. Uh, change the plane's name to Portal. I want to add a box collider on this. Uh, let's make sure the trigger is clicked. Uh, let's go in and take a look. Uh, that's approximately the size I wanted for it. I'm actually thinking I might make it a bit smaller, but like I said, uh, I'm going to be fooling around with the texture quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just going to take it and assign it to the prefab that I've created for the portal. Which should be my resources folder. Uh, I believe it's under prefabs. Could be under spell effects. I can't remember anymore. Right there. So I'm just going to take it, drag it on. And I'll replace. And there we go. Uh, we now have a good start on creating a bit more advanced um, particle systems and special effects. I will probably be using the exact same technique later on for creating things, uh, maybe like some sort of um, buff sphere or something that goes around. And we'll, we'll be getting to that. There's a little bit difference with it. If we just take a quick peek here, I'll just create a sphere and drag and drop this texture onto it. Uh, let's see, we want the portal. I'm just gonna select this texture or sorry, this um, material. Here's a quick way to get to it. Uh, where's my sphere? It's right there. So I'll just drag the exact same material onto it. And let's shrink it down. Let's turn off the collider. Uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit more work with this, but it will work pretty much the same. And it'll give you a little bit something to work on uh, until the next tutorial. And let's add the script to it as well. And I believe it was eight by four and 30 frames a second. And if we start that up, we go run through. Uh, there we go, it's up too high. We can't really see it. Let's bring that down. Actually, let's put it right on top of one of our dummies. So I'll just drag it into the dummy. It's right here. I'm going to put it on. Oh, let's put it on the fat guy. And where's the sphere? It's my generic ring. Sphere. <laughs> uh, let's actually look at the generic ring. Okay, that's over there. Anyway, let's reset the position. And let's go look at it. We'll want to bring it up a bit. We are going to have to change the size. Uh, let's bring it up one since I know my model's too tall. Bring it up one, we'll bring it to the center and we'll want to scale it. Uh, let's try two by two by two. Which doesn't quite encompass them. Uh, let's. Let's make it twice the size. And we'll just start it up. And I know I already, I already know I have to adjust the texture, but as you can see, it does lead to a bit more cool special effects that we'll be working with. Uh, but anyway, that's it. That's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to quickly go over how to create animated textures. And we already have a script on the Unity Wiki that'll do everything for us. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye-bye.